Hey, yo, what's up, Roger that here. Welcome back to a new video. For today's topic, I will be summarizing the whole meeting for Battlefield 2042, as well talking about the major topics that were said in that part. What happened in this meeting, they basically talked about the new stuff that is coming out and some new gadgets that are going to be introduced to the new Battlefield game. So, enjoy. When it comes to conquest, there will be some places in the maps that you will need to capture multiple points to basically conquer that sector. For transportation, if you captured a sector and you have no vehicle to transfer yourself to another part of the map, you can basically call a tank or vehicle to drive and it will be dropped off at your location. This would involve you using some sort of device to pinpoint your location to send a vehicle for you to use. For level designs, they talked about that there are different parts of the map where there are specific sections like close quarters combat, vehicle on vehicle combat, or there's a mix with vehicle and infantry combat. They just made different selections to fit the gameplay style of every other player so everyone can enjoy the game while playing on the same map. This is specifically for some maps. They also talked about AI coming into Battlefield and this is something for the first time that the developers actually did for players to use the AI. And it's pretty cool to see. They talked about how you can use the servers that are filled with AI to test out new guns, new gadgets, and new vehicles for the first time. And this is pretty beneficial to new players because they can understand the roots on how to play the game and the map specifically to figure out new ways or new strategies to find players and capture the points. They also mentioned that some regions in the world don't have enough players to play the match so they just fill up the servers with AIs to fight again so everyone can still have the same experience. He talked about the evolution and the weather system on how it's going to work in the game and said some random tornado or weather disasters are going to come in randomly out of nowhere and change the whole gameplay system. They did this for Battlefield 4 except for the weather dynamic system with the natural disasters but for the evolution they made it work perfectly well in the matches. There was one map that was close to a dam and if you would like you could have blown it up and water would be rushing out. In this situation, the map changed drastically and you would have had to adapt to the circumstance of the person who did it. So yeah, it worked pretty well in Battlefield 4. For specialists, they talked about how each player would have a specific role in playing the matches. For example, a medic. That person's role is to bring people back to life or help them regain their health. They also talked about how other specialists would have their own equipment to their advantage to help others in game. But I found out in the meeting they made a pretty cool feature in the game where if you messed up a class setup, you don't have to kill yourself in game and redeploy into the screen to set up your class setup again. You can easily use the gun that you currently have and customize it or you can find a new gun on the ground and do the same thing while you're in the game. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature that they designed into the game. Of course, the E will balance it so that you just don't pick up an SMG and you don't customize it to a sniper basically. So yeah. In the remaining minutes left of the meeting, they also talked about the gameplay of transportation of vehicles and they said that each and every player that is in a transportation vehicle or a tank or whatever, they would have a specific role to play so not everyone is just sitting there chilling and doing nothing. This may sound cringe but they want the players to unite in defending the vehicle and this creates a squad gameplay type of base. It may sound cringe but this is the idea I'm getting from them. They also talked about a new game mode that is coming out and it's going to be called Hazard Zone. I think it's going to be like S&D at a major scale but I highly doubt that so that's just my theory so take it as a grain of salt but the set is going to be a sweaty experience so yeah <laughs> I don't know what they're saying about that but it's going to be a pretty difficult game mode probably. So yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good one and may God bless you all. As well smash the like button if you want more content like this and subscribe for it more.